Maria, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's go back to the point, shall we? Goku looked at Kakarot in surprise. He asked him how they were going to seek to revolve with the gods all the time behind them. W we won't be safe anywhere, pointed Goku. Kakarot hesitated before answering Goku, but he finally said, Yes and no, we're safe, but our other versions are still being hunted. He sighed, thinking of the challenges they still lay ahead. Our problems now are no longer the gods. After all, we've already been captured. But we only managed to get past the first problem. There are still other challenges to return to our reality. Goku looked at Kakarot worried and asked, And in the second problem, are we alone? Kakarot shook his head. No, we're not alone. There are many of us scattered around, all looking for a way to increase our power and escape from here. Kakarot looked thoughtful before adding, I heard that a version of us has been causing a lot of trouble for the gods outside. This version was the first to escape the time chamber. It became known as the Devourer of Life or God of Antimatter. He simply ended all traces of existing life by escaping from prison. Because of this, the gods decided to make a new layer of protective barrier to prevent other possible versions of us from escaping. We will have to do much more than that. We will have to do much more than just escaping the capsule. It will be something new and unprecedented. Goku was impressed by the story. <laughs> this guy must be amazing. I'd like to find him one day, he said, his expression determined. Kakarot agreed. <clears throat> he must be, but we have to focus on getting out of here first. Then we can think about challenging the life eater. Goku nodded, agreeing with his friend. Of course, we need a plan first. But the idea of finding someone that strong is exciting. As they were talking, a mysterious figure approached. It was a version of Vegeta they had never seen before. He had a somber air and appeared to be in a state of deep meditation. Kakarot and Goku were surprised to see him, but decided to approach him to try and find out more about his history and his quest to escape that place. They approached carefully, trying not to disturb Vegeta's concentration. Hey, who are you? Asked Goku, trying to get Vegeta's attention. Vegeta opened his eyes slowly, and his expression turned into a mixture of anger and disbelief. I am the great King Vegeta, of course. How did you not realize that before? Kakura took a step forward, trying to defuse the situation. Uh, sorry, we didn't mean to offend you. Uh, we're just trying to escape this place and wanted to know if you had any information that could help us. Vegeta looked hesitant to share anything with them. <sighs> I don't trust you. I don't know if you're our friends or enemies. Goku was in a state of confusion as he saw a version of Vegeta in front of him. He had thought that that place would only be inhabited by versions of him. But to his surprise, there was also a version of his eternal rival. Kakarot, for his part, was also surprised and stated that he had never seen any other version of Vegeta in his travels and wanderings in this world they were trapped in. In addition, Kakarot said that he never imagined that Prince Vegeta could be a king in any reality. Because in his reality, Vegeta always preached peace and was so meek and calm that he was a fiasco as a Saiyan warrior. The statement left Goku even more confused, as in his reality, Vegeta was known as a Chaos Wrangler and a powerful Saiyan warrior. Faced with the contradiction between the two realities, Goku questioned Kakarot if he was serious, stating that it was almost unimaginable for him to think of Vegeta as a pacifist. However, the version of Vegeta present in that reality got irritated with their conversation and told them not to compare him with this pathetic version they had of him. Vegeta's presence in another reality, especially as a pacifist, was something difficult for Goku to understand, who had always known Vegeta as a fierce warrior and a constant antagonist in his battles. Kakarot's statement about Vegeta's personality in his reality seemed almost absurd to Goku, who was used to fighting the Saiyan Prince in his own reality. The conversation with the version of Vegeta present in that reality left Goku and Kakarot thoughtful for a few seconds and curious about the different versions of themselves and their friends that could exist in other realities. They began to question themselves about how the choices and decisions they have made in their own realities could have led to different outcomes in other realities. The experience of meeting a different version of a familiar character was a new experience for both Goku and Kakarot. 
They realized that the multiverse was vaster and more complex than they had previously imagined, and that there were countless possibilities and realities that they had not yet explored. The conversation with the version of Vegeta present there had made them more humble and curious about all the realities that they still didn't know, and it opened their minds to a new understanding that would make all the difference in their near future. During Goku, Kakarot and Vegeta's conversation, dark and lifeless beings approached them, ready for direct combat. They physically resembled Goku, wearing black masks and black clothes. They looked empty, without any life. The three warriors realized that there was something strange about these beings and prepared for battle. However, they were weak, and Goku made no effort to finish them off. The battle was not difficult and was over in a few moments. Upon starting combat, Goku showed a small portion of his power, just to warm up and prepare for more difficult battles. This served to impress everyone there, including Vegeta, who was amazed at Goku's power. Kakarot, upon seeing the power emanating from Goku, thought to himself, That's a third of his power? Impressive. And I'll challenge him. Meanwhile, Vegeta felt inferior. He considered himself incredibly powerful. But he realized that in just that one small battle, the version he knew of Kakarot wasn't even close to a third of Goku's power. Vegeta's facial expressions changed to a mixture of surprise and admiration. There was respect and maturity that we didn't know expressed in his gaze. Kakarot was visibly perplexed by the appearance of the dark and lifeless beings that attacked them. With a confused expression, he asked Goku where these beings were and if he had seen anything similar before. Goku shook his head, saying that he had never seen anything like this. Vegeta, who seemed less surprised by the situation, explained that these beings were common in that place, and that they always appeared suddenly. They are not strong and do not have battle intelligence. It is as if they were lifeless dolls following orders, but their origin was still unknown. Meanwhile, the beings' bodies began to dissipate, turning into dust. Unfortunately, this prevented any kind of more detailed investigation into the origin of these mysterious beings. Goku sighed and commented that there seemed to be more questions than answer in that place. He looked around, taking in the desolate landscape and dark, unsettling space. It was like they were in a completely different world that they were used to. Kakarot, for his part, seemed excited at the prospect of new challenges and adventures. He turned to Goku and said with a smile on his face, Well. At least we're not going to get bored here, are we? However, Vegeta remained silent and seemed to be mulling something over in silence. His expression was serious and concentrated, as if he was analyzing every detail of his surroundings. And this is where we're gonna end today. So, my partner, what do you believe? Will Goku overcome this situation? What is the truth behind these beings? What can happen in the midst of all this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.